Home Swap. These are the Zerbaganskis, a 49-year-old esotericism and karma expert, Alexander, and his 43-year-old wife, Selena, a bioenergetics therapist. Though they have been together for 10 years, they have no children. The Zerbaganskis are committed vegetarians and nomads. They currently live in a tiny house in Crimea. We're the Zerbaganskis. We live on wheels. No, we're not skateboarders. Our house has wheels. <laughs> I'm a runologist, and I'm currently writing a book on ruins. My wife Selena is an enchantress, and a very pretty girl. Today, Selena and Alexander earn their living by giving lectures on the art of happiness. But just a few years ago, they lived the successful life of Moscow entrepreneurs, having everything that comes with that lifestyle. We were renting a mansion on Pakrovka. Center of Moscow. Called Pochny Lane. How many bathrooms were there? Four. Four? You counted? We're only used two. One was for Mondays and one was for Tuesdays. <laughs> but waking up one morning, Alexander suddenly realized that life in the city has lost all its meaning. My life had turned into Groundhog Day. The same work, the same environment. And on weekends we would have the exact same guests. And so five years ago, the Zerbaganskis moved out of their mansion on Pokrovka and into the first custom-built tiny house in Russia, a miniature home on wheels that cost around $14,000. This 150-square-foot space features a living room, a kitchen, a shower, a toilet, and even a super king-size bed. It's a generally really comfortable house. It's very eco-friendly, the insulation is of plant origin, and the wood makes it easy to breathe. It smells nice, it's an amazing place to live. Even better, we don't need to wait for the heating plant to start supplying heat. The tiny house even has a space for a dog named Zhuzha. Zhuzha is our dog, she's a free dog. We never tether her. Whenever we want a new spot, the dog travels with us. The Zerbaganskis and their dog traveled all over the Moscow region and stayed for four years on Lake Pleshevyeva outside Yaroslav. They decided to spend this winter far away from civilization, cope to Cape Tarkhankut in Crimea, three miles from the closest human settlement. We feel like the whole world is our home. Is there anything bigger than planet Earth? Alexander is being disingenuous. That is not the only reason he likes his hundred foot. Tiny planet. Living in a tiny house, you start buying much less stuff. You free yourself of the consumerist mindset that is forced down your throat. Selena is also ready to give up everything unnecessary. Only hers and Alexander's view on what is unnecessary are often different. I'm a fashionista. I really like dresses, skirts, heels. There's no room for heels in a tiny house. You know, there should be an extra house. Like an RV maybe, with the proper wardrobe. You can substitute happiness with a bunch of shoes, but would that happiness be real? My happiness is in dresses. Daily arguments about the walk-in closet are the only thing tarnishing the idyllic family life of the Zerbaganskis. Alexander hopes that exchanging homes will help him bring his beloved wife to her senses and prevent their tiny house from becoming a storage for pretty but useless things. Home Swap these are the Babayans from Armenia. Arshak, 36, is the head of the family and the owner of a bistro restaurant chain. His wife Ani, 23, is both a housewife and the managing director of their bistro serving Armenian cuisine. The couple lives in a three-story mansion in the capital of Armenia, Yerevan. We spent 20 years building this house. I took over after my father. Today's market price for it is at least $1 million. The 6,500-square-foot house valued at $1 million has everything to make their owners proud. A living room with a marble staircase, dining rooms with inlaid furniture, five bedrooms, four bathrooms, a sauna, and even a 50-foot swimming pool. I bought the most expensive and high-end things, crystal chandeliers, marble for the staircase, fancy china, in other words, the whole package. But the biggest treasure in this house is our Shak's young wife, Ani. Nothing is too good for her. For three years now, the new lady of the house has been guarded by a monstrous hound, Dushman, as well as by the CCTV. I made sure to build a huge wall. 
This is my castle. Every corner here is monitored and protected, so my princess is safe here. She's going to give me at least five children, because we have five bedrooms. Sometimes I wish there were only one. What? When she is not busy at the bistro, Princess Ani moonlights as a Cinderella at her own palace. The cleaning of the family house is not to be entrusted to strangers, so she does everything herself. It takes a whole day to clean this entire house. Once we start having kids, this will not be possible anymore. I worked, I saved money, I gave her everything. That is why I go to work. I don't get it. We should exchange houses. She needs to see how other people live. The show Home Swap is Arshak's only choice to remind poor Cinderella that cleaning a castle is better than living in a shack. Home Swap. The show enables two families to exchange their houses and lifestyles, as well as their cars, their household problems, and even the ways they spend their free time. They also leave each other the amount of money they usually spend themselves in three days. How much should we leave for them to spend? 500. We have a lot of guests, so let's make it 1600. So they can take care of our friends if anyone comes over. We don't want to feel embarrassed. They will not feel embarrassed. $1,600 is almost 1 million Armenian drums. Get a taste of living like an Armenian millionaire. Good, that's enough. I'm going to make it 1700 Yes, they should enjoy it. Yeah, I hope they also leave us enough money. It is time to find out whether the Zerbaganskis are just as generous. Honey. How much money do you think they will need for a couple days? Well, considering that they will need food, $160 should do. $15 is enough for three days. What's wrong? For $3 you can get fruits and vegetables, they can arrange to pick up fresh milk in a store. Milk is $1 per bottle. I don't know. Okay, let's leave them $40. What are they going to do on $40? Live. Indulge their every fancy? Uh. <laughs> well, that is slightly less than a million, but there is an extra perk. Incredibly clean and completely free Crimean air. To make sure the houses are returned to their owners in their original state and that each guest family fully experiences the host's way of life, the families write down guidelines. As proof that they have been following them, they will take photos. If we get to stay in a castle, I would start trying on different dresses, running around the house, showing off, and sitting on the throne. If you stay in a castle? If I stay in a castle. I would love to stay in a treehouse, to feel free as a bird. We're eager to try everything. Everything! We would like to have an adventure. Madagascar, Zanzibar. It is warm there. The ocean is there. I think this is going to be interesting. It is time to actually swap houses. The Babayans are flying to Crimea and the Zurbaganskis to Yerevan. Welcome to your new home. The Zurbaganskis have arrived in sunny, but in Crimean terms, chilly Yerevan. But the sight of their new residence pushed the dramatic temperature change right out of their minds. Well, hello, your majesty. Hi. Oh, a pool. We'll go swimming. Our castle for the next three days. We had a suspicion that we would end up in a huge house as a contrast, but this place is just humongous. The front yard alone can fit several houses just like ours. True. I think the pool is pretty much like our house. Oh my, what a beast. So they also have a pet. Hello. Hey, what's your name? Are you going to bite off my finger? Don't poke your fingers at dogs. This is a big dog with huge teeth and powerful jaws, so I was very careful with it. They used to let in women first, to check if there are bears. <laughs> this is definitely a castle. The first thing that jumped at me was the staircase. It is magnificent. I would love to put a red carpet on it and walk up and down looking all pretty. So much marble was used here. It probably took an entire quarry. Obviously, it's important for the owner to show his status, his wealth. 
Oh, wow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six bedrooms. Impressive. I don't need so many bedrooms, but I guess this family does. I have heard that Armenian families are usually big. This should be the guest bedroom, right? Here's a wardrobe with blankets and pillows. Honey, you can get to another room through the bathroom. All right, here they are. Who? Our own guests. Ah, a couple. A couple? I don't know why two people would spend so many resources on themselves. Wow. Here is a bathroom, dear. Look, this is something. We will be dancing here. This is really something. The bathroom is amazing. I enjoy taking nice long baths. Our house has only a shower. Taking a bath is not something I can do. One and a half of our house. Come on. For sure, look here. This is the width of our house. Okay. And this makes it one and a half. The red bathroom is really huge in size. It makes no sense to me whatsoever. What would you do there? Jog in the morning? Meanwhile, the Babayans have made it to their new Crimean accommodation. Zhuzha didn't want to welcome the guests, and so she ran away on her doggy business. <laughs> Almost like our place, but ten times smaller. <laughs> Ten times smaller. I never thought I would leave a three-story house for this. This is quite extreme. We're really shocked. How can anyone live here in this doghouse? They have electricity. Kitchen. Should leave this outside. It won't fit in here. I hope we can. One step kitchen, one step living room. Guest room. Oven. Funny. It is. The oven is tiny. This is an oven? It's like an oven sample. You buy a small one first, give it a try, and then you buy a full size oven. Home swap. A toilet, Ani. They have a toilet. No way. Our shock. Look at that. There is a bucket instead of the toilet. We'll do our business in the bushes. Crazy. How do they do their laundry? I don't get it. Our shock, look. They have a second floor. Climb up, climb up. There's no room here. The sleeping area is really nice on the second floor. This must be the place for the iPad. To watch movies. Yeah, this is it. This is the best part of the house. It has almost everything. Well, let's get settled. I want to go home. Oh, sweetie. Come have a look. Oh my, what a pretty butt. Oh, there is a throne. I am truly impressed. Never seen anything like this. Ah, it's a throne. Ah, there it is. I will be sitting on the throne. Didn't you want a throne? I want a castle with the throne, that's what she said. Yeah, the chair is funny. It is fun, sure, but you have to understand that to clean this house you need to hire someone. It costs a lot of money. Wow. Oh, I love the table and the chairs. This is solid wood. Yeah, yeah, and this thing here too. Fancy. The house interior is really impressive. There are so many things that you go around staring at, like at one-of-a-kind museum exhibits. Paintings. The sea. Ivazovsky. Definitely. I feel like I'm at the Hermitage. It's so beautiful, honey. It gives me goosebumps. This is not my thing. Really? I'm seriously impressed. The dinnerware is one of a kind. Look. Everything is gold. Gold glasses. China. Gold everywhere. I don't like consumerism. Buying, buying. We need this. We need that. We live differently. What is this for? What is this anyway? Is this a toy? How do you play with it? Drop on each other, probably. At first, I thought it was going to be boring, but they have a lot of interesting things. An alarm clock. Look at this alarm clock. <laughs> my grandma had one like this. Oh my god. 
Remember this from the 90s. This is for coffee. Wow, deja vu. Everything is so unusual. The clothes, the books, inscriptions, the path to joy. Yoga, the way to freedom and self-expression. I have no idea what they do. I don't think they do anything. Security. Or the police. Or in customs. But not likely. If they worked in the customs, they wouldn't live in this house. They would live in a proper one. Now that the first impressions are made, it is time to learn the weekend budget and learn the rules of the new home. They left us money. 120, 140, 60, 80, almost 1 million Armenian dollars. This is a substantial amount in our calculations. $1,700 for three days. Three days of splashing and indulging ourselves. Armenians. I understand the Armenian soul more now. I like it. Here we go. Okay. $40, man. <laughs> for what? I think this is okay, Arsha. I guess for this house it might even be too much. There's nowhere to spend it. Thanks for leaving us that, at least. <laughs> Thank you. The rules. What is this? An apple? There is no meat eating in our house. There is no meat eating in our house. So now we are vegetarians? All right, we'll try this. Instead, make a jam. What is this? From pine cones. Pine cones, jam from pine cones? Pine cone jam. I don't know. Collect pine cones and make jam. Don't eat meat. Who comes up with these challenges? Don't leave the oven open. Or you might make a fire. Instead, get water from the lake. From the lake? What? They drink the lake water? Let's just go buy it and say we bought it from the lake. Is there a store here? <laughs> the house is not enough. They want to torture us. Oh my god, what is this place? Enjoy riding? Horseback? Horseback. No, I can't. They must own horses, or maybe we have to find wild horses and ride them? <laughs> oh, what a challenge. Home swap! Don't leave the gate open, or Dushman will run away. Dushman, make sure to walk him. Sure, the dog has to be taken for walks, but it is scary to deal with such a big dog. I don't know how he is going to behave. Give a warm welcome to our friends. Make them a barbecue dinner. No problem, that's on you. What can I do? We are vegetarians, and we don't like cooking meat. I started to doubt my culinary skills. Open our bistro on time. Prepare only the dishes on the menu. So there is a cafe? Do you think we missed something? Probably. Day one. The house rules are clear. The money is now in hand. It is time to start a new life. The first thing Alexander and Selena decided to do in their new place was to replenish their energy and find something to eat. Oh, kitchen. Yeah, oh. Armenian flatbread. Persimmons? Armenia is its birthplace. Wait, what is this? Some kind of dried fruit. These are pears. Ah, pears. Yeah, let's have them with coffee. Honey, they've prepared everything. Here. Really? Mmm, they are so thoughtful. This is a hospitable place, very hospitable. I like that this home is very welcoming. You can feel it. We were left a lot of delicious food. Thank you so much. Oh, and what is this? Wait a second. Could it be grapes? No, this is meat, fat, and some sort of aspic? Meat. Let's put it back. 
I don't know what that dish in the fridge was, something with meat. It must be really delicious, but I don't eat that. Well, the host didn't know we were vegetarians, so they cooked whatever they thought is the best. We appreciate it. It seems that the vegetarian family is not familiar with Armenian cuisine. That was kash, a typical Armenian soup with mutton. I really love this cheese. Mm. So tasty. The coffee is amazing. I think that deep inside, we are all Armenians and that we love good food. While the Zerbaganskis are ravaging the Armenian supplies, Arshak and Ani are struggling to find any food apart from two apples and ketchup. I hope to eat at least something today. Here is the fridge. Is that honey? It is. Here's more. They only have honey and tea. We opened the fridge and it was empty. They are very nice people. What is this? A lighter. Why would they keep it in the fridge? <laughs> the fridge is pretty much a closet. <laughs> they keep the apples here. <laughs> but the lighter is in the fridge. My god. They just don't know that you can turn on the fridge. While the Babayans are trying not to starve to death, the Zerbaganskis are finishing their hearty meal. You know, we have not yet fed or walked the dog. Normally, before sitting down to eat back home, I make sure to go out and feed our dog, our Zhuzha, and then Alex and I can enjoy our meal. But Dushman is no Zhuzha. He doesn't enjoy this kind of privilege. It is enough if he gets any food at all. What should we give him? Let's look around. There should be dog food in the summer kitchen. Look, there's something here. In the bucket. Yeah, that's it. Either he will eat the dog food or me. Honey, I need you alive. He has quite a big mouth. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be something. I was scared to walk in. That is a powerful dog. He is even capable of ripping apart the chain link fencing that makes up his enclosure. Hey there, doggy. I'll give you food in a second. Yes, you eat away. Bon appetit. Who is such a good boy? I shut the door behind me because my wife was outside. I was careful. I was admiring how well Alex handled that challenge. Look at how hungry he was, vacuuming up every single piece. We were lucky to find him hungry. He will be grateful now and won't eat us for breakfast. We thought it dangerous to let the dog out. He's a massive dog, and if he runs away, we would never catch him. Sorry, Dushman. Life is unfair. That is the price you have to pay for looking so formidable. Let's see what else is here. Okay, a garage. Wow. Oh my. Five sevens, and four more. Seven, 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 seven. Three sevens. This all clearly means my life is going great and I am well off. These are cool rides. You could easily pull two houses like mine with that car. Bicycles. That is for girls. I'm getting this one for you. Oh, for me? <laughs> Let's take a picture. Okay. That is for our hosts. Sure. Home swap. Meanwhile, the hungry Babayans keep trying to find something more filling in the house than fruits and vegetables. Come on in. May I? Sure thing, come on in. Wow, where are Selena and Alex? Come on in, we'll explain everything. Hello, I'm Arshak, Alexei. Natalia. Ani. The neighbors came. Alexei and... Natasha. The reason we came is because we promised Alex Crimean pine nuts. That's what we call them. They're actually hazelnuts. I'll make sure they get these. Maybe we'll take half? There's nothing to eat here. With this we can survive until morning. This will last you two days, don't worry. 
Apparently, starting today, the Babayans are mono-dieting on nuts. The only thing left is to find water. How do we find the lake? That way. It is right above you. Oh? You will have to climb to where it is. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for sharing these nuts with us. You have an oven. Roast them on a sheet pan. Then they will crack easily. They're super tasty. Trust me. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Good luck. The guys were really sweet. It's always nice to meet people like that. It seems that Arshak and Ani haven't realized that in a vegetarian house, fruits and vegetables make up the entire meal. So for dinner, they decided to prepare the nutritious nuts from their neighbors. Let's see, maybe the roasted nuts will taste nice. I don't know what we're going to eat. I think we're going to die after three days without meat. With heavy thoughts but light stomachs, the Baba Yans popped off to bed. Not expecting much from the oven sample, they kept their clothes on. Let's call it a day. It has been quite overwhelming. Lights off? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good night, honey. Tomorrow is going to be a long day. I wonder what they're doing now. I bet they are... Having fun? <laughs> having fun. In the pool. In the sauna. Unlike us here. But for the Zurbaganskis, all the fun was ruined by cold. It turned out that there is no district heating in Armenia. The house is heated with electric space heaters. But keeping 6,500 square feet warm is too expensive even for the Babayans. The temperature in the house is around 63 degrees Fahrenheit. How do they stay warm? Since I'm very sensitive to cold, in our house, Alex has the oven duty. I walk around in a top. This place is chilly. This should keep us warm. Is that a warm blanket? Let's see. It is thick. After we turned on the space heater, it didn't get any warmer. There's something in the mattress. Maybe it has a heating system? Look at this, Alex. We've got us a heated bed. Oh, it's getting warm. Is it? Yeah, it's getting warm. Listen, honey, I knew you would keep me warm all night, but I didn't realize there will also be a mattress keeping me warm. There you go. This is good news. This is a surprise, a bonus. The warm sheet is a nice solution. The host made sure we are comfortable, and I am grateful. Day two. Ani, it's time to wake up. How did you sleep? Horrible, huh? Let's get up. Let's have some coffee. Here goes. Ani, we need to go get water first. No water? Not enough. Okay. And find a toilet somewhere. There's no way we're using this one. We were left with the challenge of climbing up that mountain. There's a lake on top. Give me your hand. Careful, watch out. There's poo everywhere. I can't. Sorry guys, the marble stairs haven't arrived yet. Today you're going to have to walk off-road. This is like Mount Ararat, huh? How can they live here? How did we get here? My God, how can you walk so much and climb so high every day to get water? Couldn't you build a pipeline? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Come on, Ani. Just look at this view. Whoa, what a lake. There rocks? Watch your step. How are we supposed to get water from here? We are not drinking it. This is not potable water. You shouldn't even use it for bathing. If you wash your hands in it, they're only going to get dirtier. <laughs> this water is dirty. We can use it for the toilet. Here, careful, careful. Wow, 
I'm all wet. So I had to run back all wet. I don't even want to think about it. All right, mission accomplished. <laughs> Home swap. While the Babayans in Crimea are trying to figure out a way to make coffee, the Zerbaganskis in their Yerevan palace have just woken up and are reluctant to leave their warm bed. Good morning. Time to get up. Hey, it is so nice under the blanket. I finally got warm. I really don't want to get out. We have a lot to do today, remember? Today we have to open the cafe and even cook food there. I don't feel like getting out from under the blanket. But Alexandra and Selena really need to hurry. It is already past the opening hour and they have not even found the restaurant yet. Selena, where do you think the bistro is? Well, yesterday we explored the entire premises. Definitely not here. Let's go look. Outside. Let's go. The search was successful. Luckily, the family restaurant was only a few steps away from the house. Good morning. Hi, my name is Alexander. And I'm Selena. My name is Sonia. Nice to meet you. You were late. I opened the cafe myself. I came to the restaurant feeling like its owner, or at least a stand-in. Is this coffee for me? Can you hurry up? We have a lot of work. Looks like Selena will not get to be the mistress today. One of the cooks didn't show up to work. In this situation, Arshak would usually take his place. But today, Alexander will, and Selena will be helping out instead of Ani. I'm going to get you some aprons. I'm ready to peel onions. <laughs> that is an act of heroism. There is no choice, really. We have hands. Our heads are also in place. Okay, Alex. I'm going to help with cleaning the fridge where we put the ingredients. Who can make sure the meat doesn't burn and take it off when it's ready? Uh, I'm a vegetarian and I don't really like cutting meat. I believe that the restaurant they are running in a way promotes the killing of animals. Maybe I could be cutting fruits or vegetables. This is the only job until our customers start coming. So what now? I told you I'm a vegetarian. I don't eat or cut meat. Not at all. So who's going to cook shawarma? While in Yerevan, Alexander is fighting for his vegetarian beliefs, the Babians, with no better option for breakfast, decided to act on their host's suggestion and make jam from pine cones. Everybody's got to eat. I was so hungry. So we had to start collecting pine cones to make jam. Over there? Sure, there are a lot over there. But do you want me to climb the tree? The forest grows like this. And this is the tree that has cones. We got our first cone. We nearly got injured, but found the cones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This should be enough, I think. I don't get it. Couldn't they give us reasonable challenges? <laughs> Sorry, Arshak. They forgot to include sheep dressing in the house rules. And no one thought that you wouldn't know how to make pine cone jam. No worries. You will learn. Put in pine cones, add some water. Okay. Sugar. Let me see. I know how much. We need to make sure there's enough for the morning coffee. That's enough. No, 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 it's not. I remember my grandma making jam. You need more. Okay, let's wait. 15 minutes. Actually, I've never made or even tried this jam. I hope it works out okay. And now, the moment of truth. Wow. Hand me a bowl. What bowl do you want? Are you going to try it? You're actually going to try it. This is poison. All right. I think we did a good job. I don't think we did a good job making it. It looked more like stewed eggplants. Try it. I don't want to. You try. I don't like that. 
<laughs> okay. It was absolutely horrible. Ew. Try it. Oh, no. Thank you. Well, we cooked it. Let's leave it here. Very sweet, very delicious. Pine cone jam. Made here. They wanted to torment us. And they are succeeding. It's okay. I made sure to torment them, too. While Arshak and Ani were learning the basics of eco-cuisine, Alexander couldn't bring himself to break his vegetarian taboo and touch the meat. At first I refused. But then I thought that we need to help our guests and make sure their restaurant is running. This being an exceptional case, I think I can help with meat too. Oh, really? If not me, then who? Dear me, you are a hero. I was shocked by Alex's courage. I know that was a huge challenge for him. Impressive self-sacrifice. To help his welcoming host, Alexander set aside his principles. Home swap. Here come our first patrons. Oh, we've got customers. Pardon? Hello. Selena's Armenian not being up to scratch, Alexander decided to come to her rescue. Shwarma? Shwarma, Shwarma. Thanks to him, the customers and proprietors have finally found a common language. Which sauces would you like? This sauce right here. This is very spicy. No, no, no spicy. Ah, this one. And this white one, how long? Five minutes. Five minutes. Please, take a seat. Actually, I really love cooking. But preparing shawarma was challenging. We need to cut the meat. You should do that. Oh, man, I'm not good at this. You are doing such a great job. It looks delicious. We made sure to put a lot of stuff so it would be juicy. Because that is how we like it when it's nice and juicy. And you can even dunk your bread in it. I think that's the best. Here's your order. Why is it all drippy? My husband made it that way for you. He thought you would like it. I'm going to take care of this. We tried our best, but I guess more is not necessarily better. Some people don't like that. What is this? Raw meat? Too much sauce? I am not going to eat this or pay for this. You made it all wrong. Let's give the girls their money back. It looks like Alexander and Selena know how to get people not to eat shawarma with meat. A couple more weeks of working here and everyone will join the vegetarian tribe. It's possible that it tasted bad, but I'm not ashamed. I have never tried shawarma. I have no idea how it should taste. I hope I never have to make it again. Alex, give them their money back. Let's not upset the girls. I believe we did everything right. I did my best to make what they ordered. You can have your money back. Give them the money. They asked for their money back. We gave it back. Money can't buy happiness. After this resounding failure, to save the cafe from going completely bankrupt, the cashier Sonia, now turned interim manager, decided to free Alexander from his torture. You should go home. We will have some friends do the job. When Sonia sent us home, I was happy. I felt relieved that I won't have to go to this cafe for several days. The Zurbaganskis only caused losses to the Babayans. They each ate a cabbage-filled bun and decided to start getting ready for the evening party. Since we are having guests, we need to decide what to put on the table. Definitely not shawarma. I guess. Let's go to the market. Meanwhile, Arshak and Ani have gone to the nearest stables. The note told us to go horseback riding. We learned from the neighbors about a man living nearby who owns horses. My name is Arshak Anvar. Nice to meet you, Anvar. Do you think we could ride on horseback? Sure, of course. How long are you thinking? Like 10 or 15 minutes. Does it cost money? Of course. Ah, we have money on us. Forgot to bring it. Apparently, this is a paid service. And we didn't bring any money. 
We didn't expect this at all. Coming back home without getting on the horse doesn't sound too exciting, so they will have to bargain. What can we offer you instead of money? If you want to ride, you can help me with hauling manure to my garden. Manure? Manure? What is that? I didn't get that. What do we have to do? I don't know. They can tell us to do a number of things. The Russian language is hard. I forgot some words. And now Arshak's vocabulary has increased by one more Russian word, which he is unlikely to ever forget. Oh my god. This is what we have to carry? It's the poo from horses. Manure. We'll be hauling poo. What can you do? We were given a job. As they say, a job requires sacrifice. Arshak is about to find out the price of a 15-minute horseback ride. You know how to use the shovel? I do. We need to collect this. Yes, and move it. Can we do just one? The work here never ends. <laughs> Let me help. It's one, two, three, four, right? You can do ten loads. Just don't tip over the wheelbarrow. This is the first time I ever had to do that. I don't want to think about it. Oh, the smell. This is an environmentally friendly product. No GMOs. It grows potatoes the size of ostrich eggs. That was really funny. Sure, yeah, it was funny. I'm all dirty. But that was funny. I think you had fun because I was the one doing it. I was doing it too. <laughs> hey! Wait, Ani, let me. You want to stay and work here? <laughs> this is interesting. So interesting, moving manure. I think we should stop now. This is enough. Anvar saw that we were tourists, and he didn't want to torture us. So then we went to ride a horse. Home swap. Does she bite? Huh? Does she bite? She was biting this morning. And in general? How do I even get on her? Manning isn't a problem. I tell him, can you put on a saddle? And he goes, try like this. Repeat after me. Like this. Yes, now jump. One, two. I tried, but then I almost lost my family jewels. I better saddle him up. I agree, I feel the same way. I still want to be a father. Help me get down. No reason for using a saddle is more compelling. In this regard, Arshak will have the support of all men. Good. Don't push your foot too far. Like this. Let's go. Ani! What? This is cool, it's awesome. So this place can also be fun. But while Arshak is on horseback, Ani maintains her distance from the horse. Do you want to give it a try? Ani! Sadly, I don't think I can do that. Horseback riding was terrifying. Stop. 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 It's okay. But it was important for me to at least try. Slowly. Come on. Raise your leg. Good. Now go. You can do it. Here you go. Shall we go? Yes. Just relax. Keep your back straight. The horse was really huge. No one understands how I feel right now. But it was beautiful. It is like a living bicycle. What is her name? This is Bella. Bella? Bella, yeah. Bella Kacharian. <laughs> That is our former president's wife. Uh -huh. <laughs>
Despite all that, Ani is not likely to ever ride a Bella Kacharian bicycle again. Let's get you down. Come on, Annie. I can't. Ani, pull out your foot. Good. And you're down. There you go. Good. <laughs> That's her fall. It was awesome. It was amazing. I really enjoyed it, but I will not do that again. It was interesting, but scary. Meanwhile, Alexander and Selena find themselves in a vegetarian paradise. The famous Yerevan market. Here they can find everything they need for tonight's dinner. Zucchini, eggplants, amazing eggplants, herbs. We went to the market because we believe that is where you find the freshest produce. We have guests coming over, so we need to cook for them. Okay, look, here. Hello. How much for your tomatoes? 800. Do you want to cook eggplants? Yeah, sure. Let's get a couple. Okay. I would like some cherry tomatoes, too. This market is a whole other story. I really love markets for their abundance of everything. This looks so good. And what is this? Tomatoes with nuts, oranges with nuts, apricots with nuts, mini rolls with nuts. As a matter of fact, even nuts with nuts. This is simply incredible. You walk around and you can smell and try everything. Look how many cheeses they have. And this is clay pot cheese. This is buried cheese. Ah, buried cheese. Can I try it? It was buried one year ago. It's delicious. I was thrilled. This was like, wow, I'm in paradise. How much in total? It is a gift. Is this a gift? Thank you so much. Thank you, all the best. We wanted to buy things, but it was impossible to refuse all the gifts. I have a gift for you. You also have a gift for us. Gifts all around. I've been dying to try that cheese. You knew. Magical. Magical. All the best. Incredible. Simply incredible. Looks like we won't need money here. This is unbelievable. And so we got all our groceries for less than $20. The Armenian people are very kind. I know we were having a barbecue, but... I haven't eaten meat in ages, and honestly, it makes me sick. And sad to just look at these corpses. It's too much, honey. We'll have a vegetarian barbecue with fruits and vegetables. Let's go. Lena is very sensitive when it comes to all living things. She burst into tears because she doesn't like the sight of killed animals. I just felt deeply saddened. Animals are our friends. We live with them. We almost cuddle with them. But at some point we decide that for some reason we need to kill them. Why is that? Well, we're going to welcome our guests our way. We will offer them the food we eat ourselves. Home swap. Check out this amazing looking stuff. This means a man is coming. A knight. I'm going to cook a bunch of delicious dishes. They will all be based on vegetables, mushrooms, and cheese. We're going to barbecue eggplants, zucchinis, peppers, and tomatoes. And we will also cook mushrooms with cheese. I'm really excited about this dinner. And I hope everything goes nicely. But in Armenia, it is a custom to welcome guests with meat on the table. And the Babayans know it like no one else. For them, even two days without meat is a struggle. Honey. Yeah? Get up. Let's go make shish kebab. Shish kebab? Where did you get meat and skewers? I asked the neighbors. Alexei, yes. Alexei? Yes, I went out and bought meat. They left us a note saying we shouldn't eat meat. I thought, to hell with it. So if they don't eat meat, we shouldn't either? I don't get that. What kind of principles are those? It seems that meat has become a stumbling block both in Yerevan and Crimea. I can't live without kebabs.
And now we're in Crimea. We have to make Armenian shashlik. There is no brazier in this house, but there is a fire pit. Good enough for a hungry Armenian man. Put it here. That's it. This is getting Armenian. I do kebabs like that almost every week. This is in our blood. <laughs> we are sorry, but we won't live without meat. <laughs> Zhuzha, back off. To be honest, I expected Zhuzha to be a vegetarian too. Hey, hey, hey! I'm holding a piece of meat and she just goes ahead and grabs it. Didn't even notice. I'm not going to swear. I got a little angry, but then I thought maybe Zhuzha hadn't had any meat for 10 years. It's okay. Let her enjoy it. Today is your day, Zhuzha. Did you like it? I don't want them to know that Zhuzha also ate meat or she'll get in trouble. <laughs> they shouldn't find out. Okay. It's ready. The meat is cooked. Yeah, I think it's ready. Here is our Armenian shashlik. So delicious. We can have a meal. The alternative vegetarian barbecue is also ready. It is T minus zero hours. Soon we will learn if Arshak and Ani's Armenian friends will appreciate the Zerbogansky's vegetarian offerings. Good evening. Dear guests, come on in. Hello. Alex. Alexander, nice to meet you. Stepan. Selena. Selena. I think this evening will be a lot of fun. We are happy you're here. We did our best to cook a nice meal, so forgive us if something went wrong. Here, have some grilled vegetables, cheeses, and mushrooms with cheese. I have an interesting question. There's no meat on the table. Right. Why? <laughs> Selena and I don't eat meat. Do you like Armenian? Do you like hospitality? Do you like our people? Yes. This is all because of meat. <laughs> oh, how I love our company. The great thing about this house is the hosts and their guests. Obviously, this is a very socially active family. A lot of friends. And these friends are amazing. I think this will not be your last time in Armenia. I hope we will always be friends. Yes. To the friendship that is already being built. This is our first time in Armenia? Your sunny hospitality that you brought here? Makes us feel very warm. It's touching. It shows the atmosphere of caring about each other and sharing. You are my big brother. That is what matters. You do it like this. That's great. Great. Brother. Brother. That's great. By the end of the warm, friendly dinner, it became clear that even in Armenia, you can survive without meat on the table. All you need is a good vibe. Alex and I are grateful to you for the warmth you brought to this house. My heart is now full with this beauty, with your eyes and your smiles. I love you. <laughs> I realized that the hosts are very hospitable, open people. That is why they have so many spare bedrooms. What if someone comes over today? Where would mother or our friends stay for the night? I guess I could use a house like this. Meet and greet. At the end of the second day, the families meet each other through a video call. This is their only chance to exchange their experiences on the show. We're here. Oh, hi, how are you doing? 
We are doing good, great even. Your Armenia is very welcoming, but how do you get warm here? It's really cold inside, but I'm really grateful the bed is heated. What about the shower? Do you have a proper shower? Do you have a proper toilet? Touche. How do you take showers here? Actually, we do have a shower. There's a tank that we fill with hot water. It's on the top. On the top. And that's how we shower. How is our restaurant? We went to your cafe, but we really failed. You did something wrong. We don't know how to make... Shorma. Shorma. It would be sad if our patrons stopped coming, Nick. To make sure your customers keep coming, we apologized. And we really did our best. It's okay, never mind that. But can I ask you one more thing? As I understand, you don't eat meat. Right. We don't. Then why shouldn't we? Just to try how it is to live without meat. I tried, but I really want to eat meat. We had a barbecue here. <gasps> we made shashlik outside. 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 Did they hang up? We shouldn't have mentioned the kebabs, Ani. I didn't want to say that. They got a little offended. Yeah, they got offended. And again, a piece of meat got stuck between families like a bone in the throat. Okay, I get it. They don't eat meat. But I don't understand why we can't. If he stops shaving, I can't shave either? <laughs> I understand that everyone is different. Some people love meat. It's their choice. But it makes me sad. It made me cry. Selena was so upset with what she heard that even the burning fireplace couldn't lift her spirits. Her feelings badly hurt, she decided to go to bed early. Day 3 On the third morning, Selena decided to let go of her day-old resentment and send it out to the energy of the cosmos. Hello, new day. Hello, new me. Hello, new world. Let this new day be full of joy and happiness. Today feels like a magical day. Oh, wow. You look amazing. <laughs> I always have different outfits with me, different dresses. Today I'm going to be an enchantress. Let me take off my coat. I was really surprised when she came down the stairs in such a beautiful gown, like a princess. It seems that Alexander is about to agree to Selena's personal wardrobe trailer. You're beautiful. This is for you. And it's been a while since we danced. I know. Selena really loves dancing. But it doesn't happen so often. We have nowhere to put in floors. Our floor is the meadow. Things worked out beautifully. And as a thank you, I want to give a gift to this house. To perform a sort of magical ritual to fill this house with joy, health, love, warmth, and good vibes. With children's laughter. With children's laughter, if the hosts agree. Selena has magical powers. She can feel and change the space around her so that only the things the owners want will happen in the house. Let harmony fill this house and its owners. Let all aspects of their life, in business and at home, Enjoy prosperity. May it be so. Thank you. While Selena is filling the three-story palace with positivity, the tiny house on wheels has new guests. Ah, oh, good morning. Hello. Welcome. Then we were visited by Dima and Tanya. Hello, you were friends, right? With Alex and Selena, yes. We met them in India. They were returning from seeing the Dalai Lama. Our friends are very spiritual. We invited them to Crimea. So they brought this house from Moscow? They're from Moscow. Yes, they moved here once the bridge was finished. They told us that they were doing well in Moscow, worked in finances. Competent people. I cannot tie that in with all this. With this house. This is called breaking stereotypes. They are interesting people. Such a small place. 
Few people would live here. I wouldn't. We'll finish the challenges. And hurry back. They recommended that we climb a mountain. The famous Crocodile Mountain. It's very close. Yes, it's very scenic. You will like it. We'll try it then today. Can we bring the house to the mountain? Can they? Theoretically you can, but it would be difficult. A pain in the ass. Yeah, yeah. There is no time left for long-distance travel. The hosts will soon need to return to their homes. Home swap. Back in Yerevan, by the third day, poor Dushman was willing to become a Chihuahua just for a chance to get out of his enclosure. The dog really misses his owners, and he was howling this morning, howling and barking. You want to go out or eat? After two days in a cage, the dog's answer is unambiguous. According to the house rules, he needed to be walked twice a day. We couldn't find a leash or a collar, and I would not risk walking such a huge dog without a leash or a collar. It's no wonder that after regaining his freedom, Dushman let his emotions run wild. What happened? Look at this, Alex. He found some bag and dragged out all this cotton. That was a pillow. He ripped the pillow apart. There was a small pillow incident. First I thought he ate a rabbit or something. Yeah. Maybe no one will notice. Of course no one will, but we will leave a note anyway. Done. <laughs> Next time we're in Yerevan, I will bring our hosts a new pillow. He is just saying, I miss my humans. I really miss them. That is why I made a mess. But don't do that again, okay? And that is how a formidable monster disappeared. Desperate for human contact, this guard dog has turned into an affectionate lamb. Of course, dogs should be let out. It's easier with Zhuzha. She runs around as much as she wants. Meanwhile, Arshak and Ani said goodbye to their guests and went to Crocodile Mountain. They said that this is going to be beautiful. Come on, come on. Oh wow, check out this view. I love all of this. Nature, altitude, taking photos. Let's go there and take a selfie. Come on. Okay, slow down then. That's it, stop. Easy. Don't be afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm just being careful. To be honest, I have a phobia. I can't look down when I'm high up. But Ani talked me into it. Wait, I'm going to hold your hand. I got you, Arshak. Come on, come on. When I look down from here, I'm scared stiff. How about that? A mountain man feels lost in the mountains. Good thing the wife is always there to help. Let's take a selfie. Ani, please, why? Come on, come on. Good. Wow, come here. Ani, come on, careful. Oh, I mean, you're such a lucky girl. Sit down. Why are we doing this? We want to live. We want to have kids. <laughs> But now we have a lot of great pictures. Yeah. Home swap. The photo shoot on top of the mountain was the icing on the cake for Arshak and Ani. Now it is time to go home. All the photos the contestants made over the course of these three days, they leave to each other as a souvenir. Well? Let's show our host how much fun we had here. In the cafe with the space heaters. In the bathroom with their friends. Ah, friends. You know, this was a great weekend. Wonderful. Let's go home and get warm. Yay, home! The Zerbaganskis leave Yerevan with a substantial sum in their pockets. Definitely enough for some new clothes. Yet, only three days ago, before a home swap, all Alexander wanted was for his wife not to turn their house on wheels into a storage unit for her favorite things. 
I enjoyed this experiment. It shook things up. I started to appreciate my house more. Our home is a warm place. We have been here for three days, but we couldn't find a way to make this house warmer. This big house comes with a lot of work. We find fulfillment in other things. Some people need a house to give them a feeling of stability. We have a foundation inside. It makes it easier to go through life albeit without shoes or a ton of outfits. Great. Home swap. The Babayans also managed to save some money. They will take their $33 back to Armenia, probably as a souvenir. Let's find out whether Ani now appreciates her house more. Well, Ani, did you like it? No? <laughs> no, let's go back to Armenia. <laughs> All I want to do is go home. Home. This house is horrible. Very unhygienic. I stopped eating to avoid going to the toilet. That's why I want to go home. Three days is enough to stay here. Four days is too much. I don't recommend it to anyone. Yeah, it is horrible. Bye-bye, house. Bye-bye. Our house. I hope never to see this house again, <laughs> even in a dream. This is the 21st century. What's the point of suffering when you can live in a nice place? All the suitcases are packed, it's time to go home. Actually, this is a great idea for a business, to build a small cabin somewhere. Tourists can come there and stay for several days, have a vacation. I think this would take off, but there must be a proper bathroom. Home Swap Home Swap has made such an impression on Alexander that he is already trying to find a way to fit a wardrobe in their tiny house, while Selena is talking him out of it. And Ani Babayan is happily cleaning her bathroom, because it is so nice when there is one. Home swap.